Welcome back to Oakfield Farm for episode 11 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's early in the morning and it's day one, early summer. I skipped through the last day of spring because I didn't have any jobs to do. I thought I'd just take a day off. There was nothing much I could do, so I just had a lazy day, sat around, read the paper, did a few odd jobs, popped to the pub, had a couple of pints. Just generally took it easy. Bonus for today... The temperature, ground temperature has come up. It's about 11 degrees. So it means I can put soybean in the ground at last. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else. Well, first I'm going to close the door. Um, I'm going to head up to field 32A. Yeah. Get some soybean in the ground. Um, I'm going to take the... I think I'm going to take the Massey... That's probably the best idea. So, let's get this open. Grab the Massey. Weather looks okay right the way through now. Right the way through the summer, actually. We're okay. Sunny days all the way through. Then Saturday, autumn one. Looks a bit rainy. That's not so good because we need to harvest. Ooh. Okay, well, let's just hope the days are better than that later. Let's take that menu away. Oh, well, one. How did I manage to jump in the wrong tractor? That's better. Okay. This will probably do with a wash, although I did fill it. Now, it took me quite a while um, to use the weeder and do the fields, but the fields have been done. Um, yeah, it was. I have been told, reliably informed, that that particular weeder. It's supposed to be for grass only. It kind of gets dragged across the grass, pulling the weeds out. It's not supposed to be for crop work. So I have still got it, but that said, next season, um, to be fair, I could probably get rid of it. I don't need any more weeding. Um, but yeah, next season, I could probably get rid of it. Today promises to be a fairly busy day. Well, I say today, the first part of summer, I've got a lot to do. The seeding up on the field, well, the secret field, 32A, whatever I called it. Um, and we have got a lot of grass to sort out, a lot of hay to sort out. Um, so yeah, we've got a few jobs to do. I need to do silage bales. I need to make some money. So one of the fields I'm going to do silage bales, let them ferment and sell the silage. I might as well do a load of grass, put it into one of the bunker silos and ferment it for silage. We'll just see how the grass situation goes, to be fair. Um, I don't know if field 14 is going to need another spray or not. Possibly. We'll see how that goes. Um, when we get up to field 32A, um, I will just show you the map. Interestingly enough, and I'm quite surprised, I have to say, um, you know, I get a handful of dislikes normally on videos, and sometimes you get the cursory one dislike somebody always does. Um, and I'm not, you know, at the end of the day, likes, dislikes, of course I'd prefer likes to dislikes. Um, the episode I did on grass management solutions when I went around showing all the grass areas off and I did say about going through some hedges and that got more dislikes I think than any other video I've posted before about 10, 11, 12 dislikes I know it doesn't sound like very much but I was quite surprised I have to say I didn't think people would be that annoyed but apparently they were now I'm also confused well not confused field 21 to my left here was a field I did a contract on very, very early on. As far as I can make out at the moment, that's the only field you can do a contract on. Um, I've been around all the different ones looking for little jobs to do. That's why I ended up skipping through um, day six um, spring, because there was just nothing to do. Bit of an odd one, but anyway, that's why I thought I'd have an odd job day. But what I like is the fact that now we've hit summer one, 
you look around and it, it looks lush the grass is fully grown now it looks impressive I actually probably should have washed the cedar as well but never mind now I'm struggling as well to keep my head up around all the different contracts <laughs> that I've got running at the moment I've got the deal with Barris at the machine shop if I take crops to him I get a discount on machinery I've got wool that's needed by Big Daddy's Knitting Club they call it the wool shop not the spinnery it's the wool shop now we're out of the EU <laughs> spinnery is very European so wool shop they're calling it and they've got a little nook at the pub they go to the pub and they meet there and apparently the landlord buys in beer and wool which is quite an interesting one so you can go up to the bar order a pint and a ball of wool I don't know don't ask me it's just I like it it's a funny little scenario but, um, but anyway that's what's occurring at the moment I've got um, Jonathan's contract he wants canola I've got um, AJ's contract for gloss crisp for potatoes uh, so yeah there's a lot going on if I've forgotten anybody so I apologize but I will try and keep on top of them all now I'm assuming a lot of the, the dislike side of things is coming from the fact that people don't want me going through hedges and things like that which I kind of understand I really do I'm kind of lucky this field that was the thing I was going to say the weird thing I've noticed is that whilst field 21 that the contracts are available on has got crops in it and all the fields I've done have got crops in um, none of the other fields have they haven't gone through that kind of automated AI thing you know the, the maps showing this stuff but they're not actually growing I'll say that I'll show you the map I'll show you what I mean um, if we go to fruit types there's a whole array of different things going on there uh, field 43 field 45 um, 33 31 32 but then when I go to growth they're all showing purple it's a couple that show cultivated but bear in mind we're in summer one there's nothing in the ground growing it's a bit it's not cultivated harvested yeah it's a bit peculiar they haven't kind of updated followed an AI cycle I don't know why um, but yeah like I say a bit peculiar so as it stands at the moment soil composition field 5 got weeded uh, field 34 and 42 got weeded in the last episode I went down and did field 3 that's been weeded so that's got another fertiliser state field 20 and 6 took a while I mean a proper proper while uh, but they're done so we're kind of up to date with all we can at the moment six is kind of out of sync with one only because that field's mine and i slurried it and then we seeded and then weeded so that's been done but that was a contract job originally so that's why that's out a little bit um yeah five's out and three's out but that'll be fine we can get a spray on those in the next growth stage i think is probably the plan for those and probably field six before harvest time so sometime through the summer we'll get another spray on there so what we'll do now is get through like I say it's not a hedge this is just kind of low low brush is what I'm going to call it and let's open the cedar up we'll also change the crop type to soybean now I don't know how far up the side so let me do but I'm going to start kind of from the corner well that was brilliant how have I managed to now that's freed let's get some soybean in the ground I'm not going to go right to the edge because there was a bit of a barrier kind of boundary there and because this is a, a, in essence a free field um, it doesn't matter if I don't use the whole thing 
this is all bonus anyway but this was one I was waiting for I know I made that hash up on field uh, 13 originally with the soybean so this is my second attempt at soybean we've now got wheat over in field 12 13 even just take 13 what's the matter not thinking straight Ooh. so when this field is seeded that's it that's my seeding done for this year it does just come down to grass work after that until harvest when I can then get um, straw swaths then I can sort out uh, straw bales and straw but this is the seeding so all my other fields are done and ready these are my well these are this is my last one that'd be a nice feeling to know that I'm all sorted Now at the other end and some of the sides, I did have some issues with ploughing on this. Um, but it said I didn't own the field and I think it was a boundary with the field next to it. So I don't know how I'm going to be at the other end. So I'll get as far up as I can. It's all going rather well so far. It's always that first year, picking your way through the year. When you get off that first harvest, everything seems to be a little bit better after that. You've got a little bit more machinery, you've got a few crops. You've either sold them and made a bit of money, or hopefully once I've done the gloss crisp contract and done the potatoes, I'll have uh, a solar array, I'll have 25 cows. I need to get enough money to start buying some sheep, but I want to wait till the price drops, which means I probably won't get any sheep until autumn. That's when they're at the lowest, according to the the price thing and go don't own this field let me do it let's go straight up for the moment Interesting. That's a funny one. Let me do it from the back, but not not with the tractor anywhere near it. That's interesting. That's as good as we're going to get for the time being. That's okay. Um, it's 5.25 in the morning. It's, um, it's early, but it's not a bad thing. Right, I think I might have to come over just a little bit. So I did go a little bit a little bit wonky a bit further up. Let's hire a worker for a minute.
the worker is now set and is working away on field 32A. I need to change the tyres over on the fence. I also need, I'm thinking, front loader attacher, yes. No size, no standard. Wide, no standard. Yep, customise. Because the next set of jobs I need to do is going to involve mowing. I then need to bale. I'm going to do some silage bales first. So I'm going to mow, I need to bale, and I need to wrap. So I'm going to lease a baler and a wrapper. Actually, I might buy... I know I said I was going to avoid... I had that baler and I got rid of it because I said I wasn't going to do round bales. Um, I'm really torn now. What to do? No, I'm going to go square bales. I'm going to go square. But I'm going to, I've got a little bale trailer I want to try out. Um, the only downside was I was going to use the auto load bale forks for the round bales, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to need a bale spike on the front of this. I don't have a telehandler yet. I'll get a telehandler from Jonathan when I sort his canola out. He's promised me a telehandler. Hasn't said what size. So for the time being, I've got to make do with what i got. But I need to get a couple of bits of machinery and I need them delivered. Because if I cut the grass and leave it, it will start to deteriorate. So I need to kind of get on with wrapping or baling. So I don't know whether actually it's worth just sticking the front mower on mowing and bailing and then coming back with the tether I could do that hmm it's all a big dilemma when I then get onto the fields where I need to do more in one go I'll use both mowers although I will need a wind rower it's just going to get expensive I'm, gonna, I'm really worried I'm going to run out of money I think that's why I need to do silage bales first that's probably the best bet Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this, I'm going to get on the phone to the store, see if Barris will deliver me a couple of bits. I'll make some bales, wrap some bales, and that'll be some solids done. They can be fermenting, so I'll get on those first. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, let's get on the blower. Right, field 32. A is finished. Barris has been busy. And it's got his team to get some stuff assembled. And when I say stuff, I've leased and purchased a few things. I shall explain why and what. Now. Let's pull in here. I know, I know whole baler situation hmm right what I have purchased I have purchased front loader attachment for the fence that will be used later on I've purchased the bales auto load round bale grab I know it's slightly cheaty but it's going to make life a lot easier I've also bought this the Unia PL6 this is well a bale trailer but it can be used for transporting anything. Um, this is by Cirque Modding, I think it was. S-U-R-C-I. Cirque Modding. It only cost 2000 And I just thought, well, that's a no-brainer. It's a cool little bit of kit. 
it's got straps that go that way and straps that go that way so you're not gonna have any problem keeping things on there so I quite like that it's quite small fits the farm inexpensive um, I'm a struggling farmer and I'm trying to get up on my feet in year one I can't afford to be spending thousands and thousands and thousands on large trailers and that kind of thing now because I'm using the bales auto load grab I could have used the bales auto load trailer that's only I think about 12 or 15,000 or something like that I could have done but I really wanted to use this it's it's really really cool um, so those things aren't going to be used yet first up is going to be the baler why have I gone for the Massey Ferguson 125F round baler when I said I was going to do square and so and so um, because I need to use a bale wrapper again something inexpensive to do square bale wrapping the bale wrapper is expensive to lease I haven't bought these these are leased I'm not going to do silage bales very often and it still f works out far cheaper to lease than it does to buy if we go into baling technology I installed and downloaded a few different options now whilst the chrome big pack is a brilliant square baler like I said to lease the square bale wrapper which is the coon from the coon pack that's nearly five grand and that's assuming I only use it for an hour and I don't get charged any other fees that's a lot of money to pay out I did think about doing the round baler wrapper again that's 11,880 to lease what I would make back in the silage bales I don't even know if I'd break even leasing that so that kind of went out the window I did think about using the Ursus bale wrapper again that's nearly four grand to lease and then anything sorry anything over the operating hour um, so I thought I'll use a different baler because because uh, I'm always using the, the the cheaper ones the Massey Ferguson ones are brilliant from Black Sheep Modding I really really like them um, so I thought you know what I'll get the Chrome Comprima 155 XC that's 5,280 to lease if you go with the single axle if you go with the tandem double axle that goes up even higher five seven five six five eight six grand again assuming only stay for an hour so I went for the massive Ergson 125F does exactly the same thing does round bales that's only just over a thousand that I can cope with so then as far as bale wrappers went I've already looked at the Ursus the McHale HS2000 which I think is by is that one by Peter J I think that one might be by Peter J the HS2000 um, nice baler I better double check that is the Peter J yeah um, but 4000 to lease the McHale 991 is by CD Models that's 2,332 to lease for a new one a used one however 924 so I've leased the used one I'm not picky I don't care if it's immaculate and clean and tidy I'm trying to save money here I'm trying not to spend a fortune to get this done what I want to try and do is maximize my profit now I know silage bales aren't going to pay me a huge amount of money but they will pay me money I've got grass I've got loads of grass I know I've got loads of fields I can go to to get grass so it seems to me a false economy to spend a fortune to make a little bit so if I can maximize as much money as I can that's the plan so into the fence grab the round baler and all I'm going to do is with the front mower and the round baler I'm going to whiz round I'm going to make some round bales I'm not going to do too many at a time then I'm going to get the bale wrapper or I might grab the massive Ferguson and bring that down where I'm going to go um, and I'll wrap and bale and wrap and bale as I go I don't want to bale a whole field then by the time I grab the wrapper and come back find that the bales have already started to deteriorate so that's what I decided to do now you may notice in the top right hand corner my menu's got a little bit bigger I normally have that set on 90% so I set it on 100 um, because I was struggling to see it and I know sometimes when I'm doing videos when I mention things and I say well, top right hand corner bottom right hand corner people sometimes struggle to see them um, 
sometimes that makes it a little bit trickier when you're doing screen grabs and thumbnails and stuff like that but to be fair it's a minor thing I'd rather have it up there and just a reminder because I know someone asked me the other day um, if I do so if I jump out if I do L1 R1 and circle that's how I get the, the weather up I don't need that up all the time so that takes up a big chunk of the screen so L1 R1 circle puts that away um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to go down to the side of field 45 is it 45 or 46 and I'm going to do some bales um, I'm going to grab the Massey Ferguson bring that down with a bale wrapper I'm going to bale some, wrap some, bale some, wrap some as many as I can do on that strip up the side first I'm doing that one because I get the feeling out of all the fields I can do that's one of the flatter I wouldn't say flattest because it really isn't but flatter fields I think and it's to the left here isn't it here it is more about saving money people all about saving money have I just missed the entrance to the field there's nothing up here so I might as well get the mower on straight away let's unfold that drop that down let's get the baler on and that drop down like I say I'm going to do as much as I can on this and this is as flat I think as I'm going to get <laughs> if I go around the edge here that's probably not too bad I'm going to cut as much as I can do as many silage barrels as I can on this bit I might go elsewhere as well I don't know um, because I need some money and it's that oxymoron of the fact I've spent money to make money but that's what you got to do that's business. Cut. Triangle. And it stayed there. That's a good start. <laughs> I think I might do like six, seven, eight, and then I'll go and get the wrapper, wrap some, so on and so forth. I know I'm missing bits, but that's not too bad. This is where we're getting to the hill, so... But like I said before, this is all free grass, so... I haven't gone over or through any hedges to get to this bit. I know it'd probably be more efficient to use... this mower and the side mower, and then come and windrow, but then that means I've got to buy a windrower. This is going to roll... It's going to roll badly. Bye, bail. It should stop in a minute. Please stop in a minute. I'm going to keep going. I don't want to see where it ends up. And I'm assuming now that's not going up hmm that's why so I've got too close to the field edge there that's not too much of a problem let's come back round drop low down at some point it will start going back up again. There we go. Oh, the game didn't roll too far. Now I've got plenty of time. I'm only on day one summer. I've got another five days. And I've got no more seeding to do. I might have a bit of spraying to do later on. So this is all going to be about making hay, collecting grass, silage bales I thought might not be a bad idea to make a bit of money, 
and they can be sitting fermenting. Righty-ho, so I'm going to continue, get a few bells, then come down and get some rats. I think it's probably the best bet. Right, first ten bales are done. What I realised on the way over here, as I was driving over, I thought, I don't own a Wopster. Um, that was another three and a half grand that's just cost me, so I now have my Wopster. That should tell me when I find a bale. I did have a problem. I lost a bale. It went in here somewhere. Don't know where. Coming on too far, unless it rolled out into this field. Nope. I don't know where that went. But it did roll. It was kind of obvious I would lose one here or there. But, yeah, I don't know where it went to. I thought it would get stuck on a tree or something, but it appears to have just vanished. I'll have a hunt for it off screen. I'm bound to find it. Or I'll just cut a load of trees down until I find it. Um, it has to have gone this direction. Anyway, not to worry. So, let's get wrapping, shall we? Let's open that up. I'm not sure what angle I need to come at these at, but if I get the wops out. 4,000 litres. Hasn't started to deteriorate at all yet. That's probably one of the last ones I did. I don't know. There we go. Now, is this one the one, is this the wrapper that's really loud? It might be. Get ready. This one that speeds up. Yep, yeah, it's noisy. The McHale HS2000 is very, very quick. This one was very noisy, I remember now. I mean, it is used, I suppose. It needs a bit of work. Turn the beacons off. Right, gently lays it down on the floor. Right, on to the next. Right, I should have ten. Well, I say ten, I'll have nine to wrap, one to find. But it's not the end of the world. That's the last bit I did. So... Move that over slightly. Try and make sure that when it's finished wrapping, they're not going to roll anywhere, but... I can't guarantee anything. Lovely. So I think this is pretty much the same as it has been before. You don't necessarily want to see me. Just wrapping bales constantly. Same as you probably didn't want to see me just 
making the barrels constantly. I mean, to be fair, this bale wrapper only cost 10500 for the used one, so it wouldn't have been overly expensive to buy it, but to lease it for 940 it's kind of a no-brainer. Right, I shall continue. That's three wrapped. Let's get the rest wrapped, and then we can think about loading onto a trailer. I shall see you in a bit. All 10 bales have been successfully wrapped. Bale number 10, the one that was in the bushes, took a bit of work to get out. Um, as you can tell, I had to chop away at the undergrowth somewhat to get in here. Um, but it was, yeah, it was in here, so we've got a little clear spot here. But never mind, we got all 10. Um, I was going to bring down the um, Unia bale trailer, I'm calling it a bale trailer but um, whatever you want to call it and start loading it up however, I'm acutely aware now um, that we're almost out of time on this episode um, if I start loading the trailer up, the episode then becomes a 50-60 minute episode so unfortunately we have come to the end of another episode uh, what do I want, that needs to be that one drop that I've found some bits of grass all over the place that I've left. Um, yes, we have come to the end of another episode. What I'm going to do off screen between now and the next episode, I'm going to make some more silage bales. I'm going to wrap some more silage bales. The next episode, we'll get the union down here. We'll start loading them up and we'll get them up to the uh, up to the farm where they can ferment. Um, what I will do though, just remembered, let's just jump out of there. Let's get the wopster on this. And let's see what it says. So, 0.69% fermented, 48 hours to go. So in two days, these will be fermented and good for selling. Fantastic. Right. Let's get on with this mowing then, shall we? It needs to be done. Now, as you can see, there's a strip of green on the right-hand side here. This is the area which, if you got too close to the field, it said you don't own this and it wouldn't allow me to mow. So there's a strip that runs right up the side of this field that I couldn't. But all of this lovely stuff here, I can. That's what I'm going to be doing. So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, we are moving forward. We are now in summer and we are now making a bit of progress with regard to grass, sides, bales, hay all of those kind of things if you have enjoyed it give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for what why is that sound done in this field thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs>